Welcome biologists, today we are looking at biodiversity which is 4.2.1 taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology. We're looking at specification point G which is the ecological, economic and aesthetic reasons for maintaining biodiversity. Now we had a look at what the definition of biodiversity was a couple of lessons ago. If you do want to refresh yourself I think that's lesson objective C or B, have a quick look back. Um, so we're looking at the reasons of why it's so important to maintain these. And there's a couple in this lesson objective here you can see on the front, um, which are necessary and are part of the specification that they want you to know. Um, so we've got a couple of points here that you might want to pause the video and just have a go at putting in the right order, because as I flick through the slides, the answers will come up in a little bit more detail. So the first one looking at is economic reasons for maintaining biodiversity. And the big, big, big one that they really like on the exam is that first point there, ecotourism. So uh, as, um, as humans, we would travel to areas of the world that are beautiful because of either the animals that live there or the habitats that are there. So, for example, the Galapagos Islands has a massive ecotourism industry um, where the the um, area of the Galapagos Islands will make a lot of money from tourists going there to look at the wildlife present. Also, um, by maintaining the biodiversity of an area, you increase the chance of there being a source of medicine present, which again can be exploited to um, obviously sell for medicinal, purpose, medicinal purposes. We also have the purpose of scientific research. This one isn't as popular on the exam, but it is still there. So obviously if we find something that is uh, beneficial, for example, it might have antifungal properties that could then be used for other things as well. Other, uh, in, other reasons for economic are also soil depletion. So if we maintain the area, maintain the biodiversity of an area, obviously the roots of those plants are going to stay there. And if the roots are going to stay there, that means that the soil is not going to deplete. It's not going to be washed away as easily because the roots are still going to be there. Um, so that is what that's getting at there. So by the economic purposes of keeping that soil there, if the soil is not depleted, it'll be better quality. Therefore, you can grow better things on it and therefore make more money. Uh, we had a look at monoculture in the previous um, lesson. If you do want to have a look at the previous video, please do so. So ecological reasons as to why we need to um, maintain biodiversity. That organism or that area could be part of a food chain or web and particularly the keystone species that we need to look after. And this is explained on the next slide. Also, um, what that area that you're trying to look after could be part, uh, could be a habitat that look, could be a habitat for many different species. So an example of a keystone species here is a sea otter. And the sea otter, what this does is it feeds on urchins. And if it wasn't there, if, if the sea otter wasn't there, it wouldn't feed on the urchins. And the urchins would eat up all the kelp and the giant seaweed, which is a major source of food and shelter uh, for other organisms within that ecosystem. So by having that sea otter there, the sea otter acts as a keystone species, which is massively important for that particular area and that particular uh, ecosystem. So these are massive ecological benefits for maintaining biodiversity. We also have aesthetic or social region reasons, and this is purely because if we help to maintain the biodiversity of a certain area, they can be enjoyed by future generations, and they're also absolutely stunning some areas to actually look at. Um, so I have actually seen those marking points on an exam before as well, uh, but the main thing here is that uh, so it's a, it can be enjoyed by future generations if you help to protect and maintain that biodiversity. So we've had a look at each of these points here. Um, that just that last one there, just protecting those landscapes again, so just to maintain it for future generations. But we have looked at each of those things there. Um, just quickly recapping on this bit here, this genetic resource. And we had a, we have discussed this in the previous videos as well on biodiversity, because by maintaining the biodiversity of a population or an ecosystem, you mean you're helping to increase or maintain the genetic variation and genetic biodiversity of that area, which in turn can be very helpful for things like medicinal purposes, but also helping those particular organisms to withstand change to their environment. So there we are, lesson objective and specification point G from biodiversity. Please remember in your exam, don't use the words it, they, amount or size and good luck with your exams.